back to tinygrads.com. I'm Miss Katie, and today we're going to learn all about the five senses. Are you ready? Great! Our bodies have special parts to help us collect information and observe the world around us. In order to collect that information and to be aware of what's happening in the world around us, we have five amazing senses. We have the sense of sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. Let's start with our eyes. When we observe things with our eyes, we are using our sense of sight. When light bounces off an object, it brings the image of that object into each of our two eyes. But it brings it in upside down. Our eyes bring it into focus, while our brain instantaneously flips it over, turns it around, and puts it back together, right side up and crystal clear. Amazing! Have you ever been playing in your room and all of a sudden your nose tells you that dinner is ready? That's your sense of smell. We use our noses to smell all kinds of scents. Some of them are pleasant, like coffee beans or cinnamon sticks. While others, like this garbage can, old sneakers, or rotten eggs, are not. What's really amazing about the nose is that it alerts us to things that are harmful and we should stay away from. Those rotten eggs smell awful to us because if we ate them, we could get really sick. What is that horrible smell? Oh, it's a skunk. Let's get out of here. Underneath the nose is the mouth, and inside the mouth is the tongue. The tongue is covered in tiny little bumps, which contain taste buds, mm -hmm. and those give us the sense of taste. Ah. When we eat food, these 10,000 amazing taste buds spring into action and tell us whether it is sweet, salty, sour, or bitter. Did you know that your nose also helps you taste your food? When you take a bite of your food, you release chemicals in the food that go into your nose and help your brain put together an accurate flavor of what you're eating. Amazing! Do you hear that? I wonder where that's coming from. Let's go find out! Do you like music? Can you guess what scents we use when we listen to music? Is it hearing? That's correct. Sound is made up of vibrations in the air called sound waves. These waves travel into our ears and make a thin piece of tissue called the eardrum to vibrate. Those vibrations are picked up by the two smallest bones in our body, which amplify them. And then it's sent to a coiled up part called the cochlear which is full of teeny tiny little hairs that send signals to the brain so it can decipher it into the sounds that we hear. All right. Some sounds are quiet, like whispering. Mm, what? Other sounds are loud, like an alarm clock. <sighs> Amazing. While sight, smell, taste, and hearing all use certain body parts, the sense of touch happens all over our bodies. Miss Katie, where does the sense of touch come from? Good question! The sense of touch comes from the skin, which covers our entire body. Some parts of the skin are more sensitive than others, like on our hands. There are about 100 touch receptors on our fingertips. That's amazing too! What can we learn about the part using only our hands? The bark of this tree is rough and the sap is sticky. The pond is wet and cold. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a dog. This dog is soft. 
So those are our amazing five senses. I hope you enjoyed learning about the five senses with me and making lots of observations. Come on back to learn more amazing facts about our amazing world on tinygrads.com, a fun and safe learning place. Bye for now!